So when we want to calculate excess or limit, we are working with our reactants. From the balanced equation, we can see that on the left-hand side of our equation, that's where our reactants are, we have got one magnesium and two hydrochloric acid. So what we want to do with that is we want to be able to calculate the number of moles as we have got a mole ratio from our balanced equation. We can see that our ratio is a one to two ratio for our magnesium to our hydrochloric acids. So in this first step, we have to look at the piece of information that we've been given. And we have been given a mass of magnesium. So on the left hand side, we're going to do our working for our magnesium, which means we're going to use our mass triangle. So to calculate the number of moles, N is equal to M divided by GFM. The mass of the magnesium that we're given in the question is 2.4. And we divide it by the GFM, which can be found in your data booklet, as 24.3. So when I pop that into my calculator, 2.4 divided by 24.3, that gives me the number of moles as 0 0.098. Now, if I round that up, that would take us to 0 0.10, which is equal to 0 0.1. So what I want to do with this is I want to take a highlighter and I want to put a box around this value because that is what I actually have from the data given in the question. If I look at the information that they've given me about my hydrochloric acid, it's telling me I have 100 centimetres cubed and the concentration is one mole per litre. So this time I'm going to use my NCV uh, triangle N is equal to concentration times volume. The concentration is given as 1 times by 100 divided by 1,000. Remember, we always want to use our volume in litres. 100 divided by 1,000. And then times by 1 would give me the number of moles as 0 0.1. So what we can see is we have the same number of actual moles of each of our reactants. Now, what we have to do now to be able to work out which one's in excess is we have to do a little fish. So that's our cross multiplication. So if I start from this side of the page and work across, one will react with two. I have calculated that I've got 0 0.1 moles. So if I pop the 0 0.1 underneath here, and again, I'm going to put my highlighted box around it so I remember that that's what I actually have. I'm going to cross multiply to proportion. If I was to use all of my 0 0.1, how much of my hydrochloric acid would I need for it to fully react? So that's two times 0 0.1 divided by one. And if I pop that into my calculator, 0 0.1 times by two equals divided by one, that comes in at 0 0.2 moles. Now, this is worked over to the right-hand side of the equation. This column is to do with the hydrochloric acid. And what we want to do is, when, once we proportionalise across, we want to take this value away from what we actually have. So I know that I had 0 0.1. I keep that in a box because that is what I've actually been given. And what we've worked out is the theoretical. That says proportionalise, so we'll take away... 0.2. So if I do 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2, I end up with minus 0 0.1 moles. Now I cannot have negative a reactant and as a result that becomes my limit. So the thing preventing me making more product should be my hydrochloric acid. But as always we need to prove in the other direction that that is the case. If this is a negative, this must mean that this is a positive. And if we have a positive, that means we've got too much. We've got a wee bit left over. So this time we're going to do a ratio. So remember, we had two moles of our hydrochloric acids reacting with one mole of our magnesium from our balanced equation. I calculated that I actually had 0 0.1 moles from the information that was given in the question. So I'm going to put my highlighted box around that. 
Again, I'm going to proportionalize, so I'm going to cross multiply. So I'd have 1 times by 0 0.1 divided by 2. I'm going to pop that into my calculator. 1 times 0 0.1 equals divided by 2. That would give me a theoretical number of moles as 0 0.05. Now, remember, this side of the page is to do with the magnesium. I know that I actually have 0 0.1 moles. I cannot change that. That is the figure that is given with the information in the question. I want to take my theoretical away, which is my 0 0.05. I'm going to pop that into my calculator. 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05. I should be given a positive value, which I have, which is plus 0 0.05. Now, as a result, this is a substance which is in excess. So we have our excess and we have our limit. What it can ask us to do is there can be another part to the question which may ask what mass of magnesium would be left over. So to do that, we would use our mass triangle. Mass would be equal to number of moles times the GFM. The number of moles that's left over is my excess, which was 0 0.05, times by the GFM, which we'd calculated up here by using our data booklet, which is 24.3. I'm going to pop that into my calculator, times 24.3. I end up with a mass of 1.215 grams left over. Another part of the question could ask you how much had reacted. So we look at our original mass. Now our original mass, which we were given at the beginning, which is given in our text, is 2.4. We've worked out that this is how much we've got left over. So this is a double check as well, that the mass left over should always be less than your original mass. And for us to do this calculation, if we wanted to see how much was reacted, you would do 2.4, take away 1.215 grams, 2.4 minus answer. And that means that 1.185 grams reacted. So this past paper question is from the Higher 2018, written 3C Part 2. And the question asks us um, to explain why the benzoic acid is the limiting reactant. So the first thing that we always have to do when it's a limit or excess question is take down the formula which is given for both of our reactants. So we've got the benzoic acids and we have the methanol. Now, we need to use the balanced equation, so we're going to be using the mole ratio. There's not a number in front of the benzoic acid, which tells us we have a one-to-one -one ratio from the balanced equation given. Now, if we look at the information that they've given us for us to calculate the number of moles, it's given us five grams of benzoic acid. So on the left-hand side, we're going to do our working for benzoic acid. Because they've given us a mass, we're going to use the mass triangle. N is equal to M over GFM. The mass that they've given us in the question is 5 grams. And the GFM that they have given us is 122 grams. So if I pop that into my calculator, 5 divided by 122, that will give me the number of moles as 0 0.04. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a highlighted box around that because that is what we actually have been given. On the other side, we have to calculate the number of moles of our methanol. So we look at the information that they give us about methanol and they have given us 2.5 grams. So again, we are going to use the mass triangle. N is equal to M over GFM. The mass that they've given us is 2.5. And we divide it by the GFM, which they've supplied as 32 grams. So 2.5 divided by 32 gives us the number of moles as 0 0.078. We're going to round that up 
to 0 0.08. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to put a highlighted box around that to remind us that that's the actual number of moles that we have got from the information in the question. Now, the question wants us to prove that the benzoic acid is the limit. So this should be our negative answer. And therefore, that means our methanol should be our positive answer and be in excess when we are proven via calculation. So... If we're using our mole ratio and we are working from the left hand side of the page over to the right we know that one mole would react with one mole however we don't have one mole of benzoic acid we have calculated that we've got 0 0.04 and we're going to cross multiply to work out the theoretical so our math would be one times 0 0.04 divided by one which would come out at 0 0.04 now, remember this information on the right-hand side is to do with methanol. We know that we actually have 0 0.08. That is what we calculated. And what we're going to do is we're going to take away the theoretical from that, minus 0 0.04, which should give us a positive answer, 0 0.08. Take away 0 0.04, and in my calculator, that comes out at plus 0 0.04. This would be an excess. Again, we have to prove that this benzoic acid is our limit. So if we're working from the right-hand side of the page, our mole ratio from our balanced equation was a one-to-one -one ratio. I don't actually have one mole of methanol. I worked out that I've got 0 0.08 moles from the information that was given in the question. Again, I'm going to cross multiply. 1 times 0 0.08 divided by 1 would come in at 0 0.08. I originally had, what I actually have is 0 0.04 moles of benzoic acid. If I take away the theoretical, that would be 0 0.08. If I pop that into my calculator, 0 0.04 minus 0 0.08, that gives me a negative answer of 0 0.04. Remember, you can't have negative a reactant, which tells us that this is the limits.